I believe there is such a concept as mental health. There's mental health organizations scattered all over the world, but everyone I've become acquainted with actually deals with what is called mental illness, the diagnoses in the DSM-4. And almost always these mental health organizations suggest strongly that the people who are diagnosed as mentally ill have uh, take some kind of prescribed drug like Prozac or Zoloft or drugs like that for whatever their uh, diagnosis is. Well, I've been in this business a long time and I've learned through the years and I'm not really a member of the psychiatric establishment even though I'm a board certified psychiatrist. I'm kind of a maverick, somewhat off the norm for the establishment. I've never really diagnosed a mental illness from the DSM-4 unless I really have to for some legal or technical or insurance matter. And I've never prescribed what's called a psychiatric drug of any kind from the start, even though as I began my training, psychiatric drugs, especially Thorazine, became available. Because what I began to believe, and more and more believe as all the years have gone on, because I've been doing this for a long time, that there's really only one problem that brings people to a psychiatrist's office, a counselor's office, a psychologist, a social worker. As far as I'm concerned, we're all mental health professionals. I'm a psychiatrist by training, but a counselor by choice. I identify very strongly with the American Counselors Association and what they're trying to do because I've never done anything except counsel. But part of my counseling, as you'll see later on when I talk about how I counsel, it now includes choice theory, which is a very important part of what I do. So the book Reality Therapy, which is the book I wrote on counseling, published in 1965, has been rewritten, I think, in 2001, and now is called Counseling with Choice Theory, the new reality therapy. And what's new about it is that as I counsel now, I also include the teaching of choice theory to the people I counsel. Sometimes I tell them directly it's choice theory. Sometimes I just teach it because I think telling them it's a theory might not go right at that particular moment. But I'm really including choice theory in what I do. But what I want to get turned to now is what I think is, I'm absolutely sure of it, it's more than I think, the basic problem of anyone who comes to a counselor's office or is dragged to a counselor's office and the person they're dragged to could be uh, a psychiatrist who could counsel like me or the psychiatrist who will not counsel like me, but the people that come in there, whether it's a psychologist, psychiatrist, social worker, counselor, all the people will share one uniform problem. It's not like there's hundreds of them. As far as I'm concerned, there's only one. And that problem is every person I've ever counseled, and I've talked to a lot of other people that counsel and asked them if they've ever had anyone who didn't have this problem, and they've all said, no, they all have the problem. And the problem, it sounds simple. It sounds too simplistic for a deep field like ours. But even though it's simple, it's still very important. And it doesn't mean because something is simple, it's easy to deal with. Something can be very clear cut and not be easy to do at all. So the problem the people come in with is they are unhappy. That's the problem. 